<sighs> Hi there. Um, yeah, I'm drawing. That that's about it. Drawing and nothing else really. Um, it is the main character of a YouTube series I create. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be called yet. But the character's name is Gregorados. It's Star Wars. You'll see later when I draw the lightsaber. <laughs> um, I'm reviewing the episode now and I am noticing that this entire section has absolutely no, no, um, audio. So I'm just gonna sit here and talk about the drawing. As you can see, I'm adjusting the arm like a stupid little booty. Cause I am one. Yup. Okay, next audio is coming up. You'll see coming up soon that I struggle with drawing hands symmetrically. But in real time, me drawing these hands took about like five minutes. Um, yeah, look at those, they're pretty nasty. Okay, so I noticed a whole, a whole nother spot without audio. That's just wonderful. Here I am drawing the belt and the other belt. Uh huh. The band that goes on his wrist and the shirt for guidance. I live in gummy bears, so the rustling's the back of the gummy bears. Um, now I'm drawing the jacket. Uh, the collar's pretty rad. You can see that I move the lightsaber to his thigh because. That's not where that goes. Um, another gummy bear. Ah, uh, okay, other audio. Um, as you'll see coming up, I have a an odd way of shading. I take the inverted color of the color that I'm coloring with and use that to shade. Yes, I realize I said coloring too many times in that sentence. Um, coloring the eyes, I did the same thing. I took the inverse and colored the bottom, and I tried to do pupils, but that looked wonky far away, so I decided to color them back in. Now, here I am coloring or shading in the hair, um, with the inverse color of that brown, which is that dark blue. Navy, I could say. Found another audio gap. Isn't that just wonderful? Okay, another audio is coming up. As you can tell with the face, I color. I really struggled coloring the face and fingers with that watercolor paint pen thing because it is weird i couldn't get the brush size to be what i wanted and that's the lightsaber i was talking about at the beginning of the video um i forgot to mention that he is an escape prisoner from what me and my friend who is helping me write the script for the second or for the first season of this show the Second Order. He escaped to prison from the Second Order. Yep, uh-huh. There's a high security prison. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's no, there's, there's no episode on that, so... Oops. 
The band on his left arm is the prison band that they use to record their prisoners. Like, keep track of them to know if they were prisoners or not. Yep. Uh huh. A whole other audio gap. Oops. I'll do better next time, I promise. Here I am about to, well I am shading at this point, his pantalones. Yup, they're dark brown, they were gonna be black, but I didn't know how to do shading for black. Yup. Um, I do now realize that it looks like he's holding his lightsaber, but he's not. It's attached to the second belt he has. Um, I am now creating the background for this drawing. It's on a Bespin Cloud base. Uh, I still haven't come up with the name for the base yet. And. Ugh, my friend has been no help trying to figure it out either. Wait, no, I know the name for the base. It's just the Puckard. I don't know why I said I didn't know. <laughs> okay, oh well. Well, I'm doing clouds, like on Bespin. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the drawing. Woohoo. Yup, I finished. Yay. Tasty. Yep, okay. Bye. Thanks for watching, if you even did.